live video. The live video is starting. And um, here's Dallas and I. Oh, don't put me on camera tonight. Oh, well, it's, you're off in the distance. Oh, worry. good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see me tonight. I put the, I put the, uh, the filter on. Did you? The, the, the beauty <laughs> filter? Because I'm beautiful? What, 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 what's our uh, sound? Oh, oh, yeah, good question. Our sound you can tonight. Tell I was busy doing some other, trying to set up some other business for myself. C so. natural. C natural. Normie, are you singing? Oh, oh, oh. So, he doesn't know what to do with himself with the rough weather. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. um, hi. So, I just want to. Um, we missed last week, so we're gonna we're, we're on this week. Apparently, so we got to get through this tower business, really. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we had a we had the a tower experience. A tower experience last week. Um, it was my daughter being in a car accident, and gosh, I can't believe that that was like a week ago. That was very already. scary, but she's fine. Now. She's fine. Uh, the rental car was not, <laughs> but um, she's she's recovering and she's she'll be okay. She's still sore and stiff, and I think, she's, but otherwise she should be mm -hmm. she should be okay. So, thank you for all your well wishes, and uh, yeah. So, um, the path of pay, the 27th path, apparently so, the 16th tarot key, the tower, mind us as we wander about, and um, the 27th path, where's my little doodly bow? Oh, good God. Oh, no, oh, there it is, somewhere. Oh, you can't the, find it. What, your card? Yeah, that one card with the little thing on it. Oh, isn't it Poop. there? No, it's nowhere. It's I just grab something else. Then. I will. I'll grab the big picture. Okay, there you go. Maybe unless it's somewhere, unless I've gone and shuffled it into the deck. That could be. Anyways. Anyways. And it doesn't matter if we're left well. It's, of course, this is um, figure it out left to right here, uh, mixed up on the this camera. But um, the path of pay, Hebrew letter pay, P-E-H in English, pay, um, goes from 8 to uh, 7 to uh, 8. Eight to seven, right across there, boom, tower. Um, so uh, what might be referred to as Mercury and Venus, or uh, passion for Venus and uh, reason uh, for Mercury. So that's, we can get the idea here just from the, the tarot image, um, an idea of the tarot card being tower for this path. And this letter pay that we're dealing with, it's, it's about a lot of um, strong energy. And it's also associated with the planet Mars. So very much about this martial energy, a release of energy. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> but um, it, it, we talk about when we did the temperance card, which would have been two paths ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so the 25th path, the 14th key, is temperance. And it also is seen as, as the middle pillar part between these two poles, the same two poles, mm -hmm. Venus and Mercury, passion and reason. So... Um, and the temperance card describes that as there's tension, but it's a refinement, a blending, a careful blending of these two qualities to achieve a, a, 
a higher perspective, perhaps, right. in temperance. Mm -hmm. Well, here we're not. We're not. It's it's the level. It's the bar between. So, it's. Um, but it's not about a blending to achieve a, a balance and a refinement and a higher perspective. It's more like the crash of the opposing energies resulting right. in the crash. Mm. And I, I always found it interesting that if we look at. Yeah, Norm. I always find it interesting that um, if we look at these, of course, in in the in these um, Kabbalistic chakra system, we we have, of course, in the middle pillar we put one here that's not on the tree, the Daya, the throat chakra. So without them, we have one, two, three, only four. Well, so there's so there's five chakras, in which we could call chakras in the uh, Kabbalistic system. Don't knock my camera, Bobo. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> and uh, but if we and then in the Hindi system, there's seven. Seven, seven chakras. chakras. In the eastern. The eastern system, there's seven chakras. So if we kind of take out that um, fifth one, the Daya, that uh, imaginary sphere here, that in. Uh, in the throat chakra that we use in the middle pillar. And then if we look at each of those con interact uh, T's where the where these bars connect, um, it like it's the other three chakras. Yeah? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The other three chakras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that these intersections could be seen as power points. And um, also that these bars, we got, this one is Empress, the cross, then Strength, the cross, and then the Tower, the cross. So interesting, we've got Mars here and Venus there at the top, Mars and Venus. And then we have... Um, and strength is associated with, well, I guess, Leo. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, it's sort of a, they're all very energetic. So strength is like the, the energy is control. Uh, Venus is the, is the energy, kind of the love energy, the creative energy. But when we get down into this sort of personality level of passion and reason, it's not so refined. It's more just kind of raw. And that's what we're going to be looking at here, this mm -hmm. raw energy. The raw energy. Raw uh, Mars energy. Yeah. Um, oh, whatever. Here's my bookmark. <laughs> Big one. That was a good thinking. Good thinking. Even better when um, you remember it. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. So um, let's just get on with the, uh, with the discussion a little bit. Yeah. Further. Oh. The path of pay is the tower is the 16th key. Path color scarlet. Sound seen natural. Oh. You know that's that? me. Sound seen natural. Is that enough? Not exactly soothing, is it? <laughs> um, Mars, planet Mars, associated with the planet Mars. Um, meaning of the word, of the letter P as a word is mouth. It is a double letter for grace and indignation Ooh. as opposites. Yes. Grace. Blessings from indignation. above, indignations. Where's my blessing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. That's interesting. The um, this book, this Ellen Cannon Reed book, she says her first comment on it is, the path is one of the most interesting on the tree in the sense of the ancient curse 
May you live in interesting times. Mm. Well, we certainly got that going for us. Well, yeah, this is, so the tower card is definitely 2020. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was my, my, my joke of the couple, few weeks ago was, uh, whose plans for 2020 came about? Nobody's. <laughs> Not too many. Nobody's. No. Um, esoteric title, Lord of the Hosts of the Mighty. Mm -hmm. you know, the 32 Paths of Wisdom says that the 27th path is the active or exciting intelligence. And it is so called because through it, every existent being receives its spirit and motion. Whoa. Whoa. Every existent being. So wasn't the, um, let me do a quick review of that. Um, all changing things. The devil was about renewal of renovating, changing things. Yes. And um, it's just that it re really reminded me something. Um, but the, uh, so every existent being, so I got a feeling it's, it's uh, spirit in motion. Mm -hmm. I'm just not, not sure if it's um, active or exciting intelligence. I'm not sure if it's referring to uh, sentient species or every living animal like every living thing mm -hmm. i think it's more about the life raw life energy and it's about activating life in any of its any of its forms right but extreme activating yeah and she says you're like a swarm of killer bees whoa <laughs> okay i'm gonna read a little okay as i said the path Pay the tower connects the center of the reasoning process, Hod, with the center of the intuition, desire, nature, Netzach. The equilibrating path of the personality related to Mars, to the north, in the quarter known as the mysteries, as the place of greatest darkness. Because it is said the sun never shone in the north of Solomon's temple. Yet we are instructed that light comes from darkness that gold cometh from the north, that enlightenment has its origin in the hidden sources of power which terrify the minds of the ignorant. Heavens. Um, a bu double letter, meaning um, that it is one of the gateways of the soul, with two possible directions of passage. As a word, pay means mouth, an orifice related to both taking of nourishment and to speech. Mm -hmm. In the first case, we understand that it is through the function of this devastating path that the higher energies are brought in to enervate the personality. And while spiritual nourishment passes into the system being via this symbolic mouth, speech passes out of it. Anyone who has some practical esoteric work is aware of the singular importance of words and the sounds which these words are composed. The vibration of a God name, has it, which we do in the middle pillar, has an effect on the physical vehicle as well as a com con. I'm not even sure that word. Concomitant effect on the psychic vehicles. Much so as talking about kind of mantras and a vibration of God names to impact the astral body and the physical body. Mm -hmm. Um, words of power, properly vibrated, help to bring about the destruction of our personal towers, our false concepts and institutions which we believe to be reality. It should be understood that to tear something down is to make room for something new. Mars may be a god of war and destruction, but it is also the god which rules over the fertility of crops. Uh, and relative to speech, we know that the logos is also called the word. And of course, the word and the logos 
is vibration. Mm -hmm. Isn't really, um, That's in, in the beginning. The beginning is vibration is the word. Um, the classic image here is a tower in a desolate landscape being struck by lightning. The crown on the top of it is struck off. This symbolizes the sudden destruction of our perception of what constitutes reality. The tower is a concept of what most people call I, the id, the personality awareness being shattered by an influx of force, revealing something of the nature of the higher self and spiritual self. The tower symbolizes all man-made institutions, whether that means government, religion, or any accepted community values. This is not to be construed as the striking down of evil. In fact, one title of the card is the house of God. The spiritual learning process involves the continual building up and striking down of concepts that are only stepping stones to inner and uh, further um, spiritual worlds. For example, on the paths we may encounter the archangels in anthropomorphic guise. This appears to be their reality, particularly if we may not have believed that archangels exist in the first place. What we encounter are contact pictures that have been established through centuries of meditative practice. These are the useful creations of man, rather than being the true and pure consciousness of archangelic beings. To encounter the archangels as formless consciousness means to destroy another tower which we have created. Yet these towers are necessary and sacred. They are like the densest expression of ourselves, our bodies, temples of the Holy Spirit. Appreciating this, we learn to apply the underlying principles of each path without being bound to their necess necessarily artificial outward manifestation. We know that any path we follow is by de definition artificial, whether that be Kabbalah, Hinduism, Catholicism, Judaism, Buddhism, that each carefully laid brick of these structures will ultimately be destroyed because they're human constructs. Right. They're not the raw truth. Right. One key symbol of the tower is its isolation. It stands alone on the mountaintop. Destruction of the tower means to experience the true ego, which is not ours alone. The lightning flash on the tower is a sudden realization or flash of perception of our real identities. That lightning is in the shape of the circle and spear of Mars to indicate the power which initiates the experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't want to just read the whole thing. So basically, thing. the tower card, the tower is representative of of our ideals and and our our beliefs and our systems and the the lightning flash coming in is like divine boom it's like a inspiration. revelation it's like a revelation revelation coming right in. that <laughs> breaks things up yeah can just be like thought patterns it can be any sort of habits. experience that we're habits, any kind of experience that we're having as we're wandering around in these, in this dimension um, that we're stuck in, the tower card can be an indicator when it comes up in a reading. Of, mm -hmm. There's a big change, change going on here. Pay attention. In your perspective. Yeah, about you're going to have. Yeah, yeah. So. No, of course. And that's not always a bad thing. That's not always a bad thing at all. I mean, however, you know, sometimes it takes difficult experiences in people's lives to have them begin to think differently. Yeah. To behave differently. Yeah. To realize further. To refine. To refine and to gotta, make a change. Yeah. You've got to melt down that it's that alchemical process of mm -hmm. changing mm -hmm. from, from one thing into another to refine yourself. Right. Well, I need a sip of water before we get to start the temple, but um, you know, it's just like the like you, you read. Uh, people may identify themselves, their id, their ego, with I am this, I am that, I think this, I believe that, I these are my opinions, these are my beliefs. You know, like you go well, you ask somebody, you know, hi, I'm, you know, who are you, and it's like well. 
I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a engineer, I'm a garbage man, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a right. father, I'm a part, I'm a husband, I'm a, I'm a this, I'm a that. Um, and, but those things all can fall away. Right. So easily. Right. You know, the relationship breaks up, the, uh, the you lose the job, whatever. Those things are, are, are not things to really hang your hat on for, not to really identify, they're not, they're not who we are. Right. They're roles we play. Yeah. In, in, our, in this, in this yeah. life, in this community. It could be seen like breaking, it, breaking the, the armor that we build around ourselves. That too, yeah. Yeah. Breaking that. That, you know, at some point, like the, the, what you call the mind there is, for me, is, you know, some kid maybe has a difficult aspects to, difficult aspects to their childhood, say, and they build up defenses mm -hmm. in their behaviors, in their emotions. They maybe, if, say, the dad's abusive and they have built up these sort of lack of trust or these things to protect themselves. Yeah. But then as we grow and as we mature and we're not, we're an adult and then we're not in that situation anymore, really those, what was maybe useful and was part of the personality and was a protection is no longer necessary, is now right. becomes a limitation and they find that they can't trust and they can't share and they can't kind of uh, be in a, in a honest relationship or something because of what was built up. So it, these, they're like, it's like the uh, exoskeleton of, mm -hmm. of the creature with an exoskeleton. You got, you got to kind of, you grow beyond, you have to kind of shed that shell mm -hmm. in order to grow. Right. So it it's, can be seen in that way as sort of a, a process. And say that same individual that says find some sort of spiritual path that's well like in you perhaps <laughs> <laughs> like me like you perhaps that is you know a spiritual seeker who goes through this and now I'm a Christian and now I'm a this and now I'm a that and yeah. each, each of all those are stages of growth and development and it's not that one was wrong or stupid or it was the it was the right was, thing for yeah. you it was whatever it was mm -hmm. but it was a, a part of a path that took you to a new place and then that can fall away yeah right? because then there's a new growth or a new step to take right yeah yeah i can fall out of my tower fall out of the tower and that's enough that's enough yeah yeah are you going to show some cards? Are you going oh, to read gonna, some more? Or are you doing... Oh, let's talk. There's a little bit about the, the cosmic eye. Because Crowley's got that. Crowley uses straight geometric lines to mean that which is made by man. He points out that since perfection is nothing, literal no thing, all manifestations, however glorious, however delightful, are stains. Mm -hmm. In his card, all-seeing cosmic eye observes and directs a disruptive process of the tower's destruction. While Dis, a Roman god of the dead, belches flames from the structure's base. On the other side, the serpent and the dove, representing two forms of desire, the will to live and the will to die. He says that they are also the masculine and feminine impulses. The two figures falling down reference to the kings of Edom. The fall of the kings of Edom refers to the conquest of that nation by the Jews, led by Judas Maccabeus. How do you say that? I don't know. Okay, Maccabeus. I wasn't there. <laughs> are, are you sure? <laughs> I'm not there. I don't think so. There is, however, a much deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. Prior to the creation of our universe, there were other universes, other forms of existence, mm -hmm. which were uh, dispensed with. And they also say somewhere that uh, the Tower is the Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel, the relationship of this to speech. Yeah. After the flood, the descendants are said to have settled in Babylonia and Babel, where they built a city of brick. They built a tower 
and supposed attempt to reach up to conquer the heavens. Mm -hmm. Seeing these men as coarse and ambitious, God sought to bring them down. They were previously the whole earth was of one language, of one speech, and men could work in unison. God imposed diverse languages, forcing a dispersion across the land. Mm -hmm. The building of a tower of false notions results in confusion. Yeah, let's look at some cards. Yeah, we've got the, the cards to look at and the symbolism on the cards. Um, and there's something about the the yods, the fires that are the fire that's on the on the cards. Mm -hmm. Which I guess would be that Mars energy. I don't know if I want to look at them all because there's some that are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's that uh, Crowley card, the tower, mm -hmm. Mars, and Pei, the letter Pei, which I guess I could try, to, well, it's sort of difficult, I could, should really draw these backwards so I can try to show them properly, but I didn't do that today. But anyway, we have, um, you know, this, this, the dove and the serpent. Even though it's sort of a lion-headed serpent, but I think that's the idea of the masculine and feminine energies. Um, the figures falling are very uh, kind of geometric. Mm -hmm. Great mouth here with the flames. Very dramatic. Um, the it's handle card. Falling, the people falling is the fallen consciousness. That's what I was mm. conscious and subconscious. Mm -hmm. no, for the man and the woman. For the man and the woman, yeah. That that's what they represent. It's not like people, but it's the handle card shows um, like this tower with a kind of breaking up, but it's much more like a, a giant building. The uh, blasted tower here, Lord of the Hosts of the Mighty, in the Hermetic in the deck. They're quite intricate, those. Big, big Mars, big break up there. Big uh, sort of come again. The the comes coming this energy like a lightning, but the lightning bolts coming out of the sun, which is an image that is uh, in some other decks as well. Mm -hmm. Again, we have the dark tree and the light tree here, which is also very, very obvious on this Wang's uh, Golden Dawn deck. We have all these classic images. The, again, the lightning, the bolt of energy coming out of the sun, the uh, crown raising up, not necessarily falling, flying off, um, the two figures falling, the white tree and the black tree is seen as um, the Kabbalistic tree of life in the white and the clip off in the black or sort of the, the demonic realms. And um, which is interesting is that it's not more like the, the, the lid is being raised to, so energy can come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, rather than flying off. Right. So that idea of revelation. Think of that is not being a crown, but that, like a, a crown, like a royal crown, but mm -hmm. as the crown chakra. Crown chakra. So that's that energy coming in. Putting in the whole, another the crown chakra. Another, and another level. Blowing your mind. Blowing your mind, man. That's it. Um, and the fire, as the, the fire is what is, well, Fire is cleansing. 
purifier mm -hmm. purifies. Again, the um, classic rider weight has the yods fly, flying all around it. And these yods, of course, yod is the um, letter for the hermit. And it is about this energy, kind of a spiritual energy. So it's a dispersion of spiritual energy in that sense. We have our lightning flash in our kitty tarot. And the lightning has frightened the kitties off of their tower. Here, Jason. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're on shaky ground there. Shake. Ah, what's that? Not a very sturdy I'm... tower, that one. And uh, my fun um, spirit deck um, doesn't show the tower crashing. It shows a gargoyle up on the tower. So um, in this one, um, he is... Um, isn't that fun, eh? He's just kind of relishing in it. It's This is his territory. <laughs> <laughs> he's digging it. He's digging it. And he's got wings. So, you know, if the tower crashes, he ain't too worried about it. Because he's not a stone gargoyle. He's a flesh gargoyle. Right. He's, just he's ready to fly. Yeah. Come and get yeah. it. Take it. Blast this building. Yeah. So... From that, we take the tower. The tower is not not a building, but it's a construct, of course, of of our what can be our own personal walls that we have up, um, or that we've built our beliefs from our beliefs or from our experience, and the symbolism of the crown being the crown chakra, the lightning coming from above being like divine thought. Um, inspiration, um, awareness, um, we've got the male and female energies there, the people falling out of the consciousness and the, and the not consciousness, falling into what they don't know, which is why they're like, ah! Mm -hmm. Into the unknown. Into the, the unknown. New territory. Yeah. Somehow. The tower falling or not falling because maybe it wasn't built all that great, it, maybe it didn't have a really stable It depends foundation. how much you have invested in those constructs. Yeah. As to whether it is your and tower. And what you built them on. And what you built, what kind of foundation that it's built upon. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So is the tower going to be, that's something you don't know, like if it comes up in a reading, is, is it your world is crashing down, or is it like a revelation? So if you don't have that much, I want just want to use the sort of word like kind of personally, emotionally, until that, let's just that much invested in those constructs of I am this, I believe that, mm -hmm. I am a, a dad, I am a social worker, I am this, I I vote this way. If <laughs> if if you have a lot invested in that stuff. Then when the revelation happens, it's like pff, the world, the world is gone. But yeah. if that's not what you're, if you know that those are just kind of trappings of, of or kind of a role, then, mm -hmm. then you're more prepared for the change. Yeah. And it can be just sort of the crown opens up and you get a revelation and you feel a renewal and a new perspective doesn't necessarily mean that everything's crashing the end of down. the world. The end of yeah. their world. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the end of some people's world is not a bad thing. It's a good to have that world ended sometimes. a crappy world to begin with. That's right. Pardon my swearing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if your world is... All shook up? Um, all shook up. I'm, I'm tough, I'm groovy, I'm a mean fighting machine and I'm, I'm, some, I'm uh, badly addicted to harmful things <laughs> and then that's a good thing maybe to get that that revelation that, revelation that, that inspiration I've been full of shit for a couple decades you know? yeah <laughs> yeah time to do something about it yeah. yeah yeah okay well that's that's interesting okay so what where do you want me to call what do you want me to do Papers or paperwork? Um, we have paperwork call? for you. I don't know. I do somewhere. Somewhere. Except it's under the camera. I don't know. 
Good Lord. Uh, no sweat. I'm getting <laughs> shot at here. That's your Wait, yeah, let's just do that again here. Okay. North and south. Okay. East and west. All right. So that we're going to begin with uh, Rose sure. Cross ritual to grow to a circle and then the um, supreme uh, pentagram and low key pentagrams for quarters. So yeah. here we go. Um, kitties, who knows what they're going to do. They're going to do what they're going to do. They are. They usually do. That's and, like the cats. Uh, it's gotten awfully dark. Well, it's dark now at this time, isn't it? I know. Seems like winter's coming. Light. Ugh. Ate Maku Segabora Vegadula Le Lam Amen. So uh goddess be with us this evening. We are I'm gonna turn the camera so we can get some of this in there anyway, because otherwise it's kind of dull. There we are, out of the way for now. Goddess and the God. And, um, okay. I don't need any. I should use this one for this. <laughs> okay. Not Enjoy the mommy. Yeah. And where were we? Amen. Hekus, Hekus, Estebebeloi. Okay. Yeah, Hashra. Yeah, Hashra. Yeheshava. 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 Yeshiva, 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 L, the sign of the morning vices. V, the sign of Typhon Apophis. X, the sign of Osiris risen. L, V, X, Lux, light, light of the cross. Virgo, Isis, mighty mother. Scorpio, Apophis, destroyer. Soul, Osiris, slain yet risen. Isis of Hophis, Osiris, Ea, 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 May the divine light descend. I don't know how that's may the divine light descend. Air in the east. Yeah. 
Archangel of Air in the East. What's up? Sure. Seems appropriate. Archangel of Fire in the South. Gabriel, Archangel of Water in the West. Nanta Agala Angel of the North and Earth. Before me, Raphael, behind me, Gabriel, to the right hand, Mikiel, and to the left hand, Uriel. About us flames the pentagram, and in the column shines the six rayed star. Ate Malkuth Vegabora Vegadula Leolaam Amen as above, so below. This evening we are transversing the twenty-seventh path. The path of the letter Pei. Um, the sixteenth tarot key, the tower. Color scarlet. Sound C natural, planet Mars, meaning mouth. A double letter, grace and indignation. Title, the Lord of the hosts of the mighty. The 27th path is the active or exciting intelligence. And it is so called because through it, every existent being receives its spirit and its motion. And to this end, since the tower is associated with Mars, I'm going to do a Mars hexagram.
So as we usually do, I'm going to talk you through the middle pillar exercise. And um, I don't think I'm going to attempt a lot of uh, visualization aid for us here because um, the classic image is such a classic image. I think um, just be brave and visualize that traditional tarot image and and what it think about what it means what to you. it means to you um, where it takes you yeah where it takes you so um, to that end if you want to sit straight not cross your arms or legs Which I even found is important when you're having your blood pressure taken. You're not supposed to even cross your foot or arm. You want to breathe deeply, relax the body, and establish the four square breath. So um, I don't, you know, through the nose or mouth, it doesn't matter. It's in this days of allergies, just. Breathing deep is what's important and being relaxed. Breathe in for your own personal count of four in a relaxed, slow fashion. Pause for the similar count of four. And breathe out fully for a count of four and pause for the count of four. So try to establish this four square breath and something to get back to and think about throughout if you find your mind wandering, get back to the four square breath. And while we're doing that, sitting up straight, Imagine an orb of pure white light atop the head, source light energy before polarizing. Its God name is Aheye. Bring that light energy down to form a lavender orb of light in the throat area. Its God name is Yehovah Elohim.
moving the light energy down to form a bright yellow orb of light behind the solar plexus in the chest. Bring the light energy down to the sacral area, the groin area, where it forms a purple orb of light. This god name is Shaddai El Jai. Bring the light energy down to form an orb of light at the feet, the russet orb of light. Adonai Ha'aretz. Bring the attention to the top of the head. Imagine light energy coming down from the orb atop the head, down through the left side of the body on the exhale. A 
On the inhale, imagine light energy coming up through the right leg, through the right side of the body, to the top of the head. Exhale, light energy down through the left, and inhale, light energy up through the right. Exhale, bring the light energy down over the front of the body. On the inhale, imagine the light energy coming up along the calves, along through the back of the body to the top of the head. Exhale, light energy over the front of the body. Inhale, light energy up along the back of the body. On an inhale, collect light energy at the feet. On the exhale, release the light energy up through the body, through the top of the head. Let it fountain down around again and be collected on the inhale at the feet. Imagine now the tower before your mind's eye. The 
that would cause you to interact.
Stirring Dallas, so we'll come out of this. Well, then you want the bell out your tummy. Yeah. My tummy? Where's the bell? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because the bell doesn't seem to be here. Oh, there it is. It's at the back. Do for the boy over the doodle there, Rob. We thank the uh, guardians of the quarters and the energies and intelligences called to this ceremony and or meditation. And I'm going to start with a vanishing direction of the Mars hexagram. Just less your vanishings around. Uriel. Gabriel. Michiel. Raphael. Go if you must, stay if you will. This temple is closed. So we'll turn this off and we'll start it up again shortly for the uh, description of our meditation.